your upper abdomen with the breath. And on the exhale, start to contract the lower abdomen in and up. that technique, on the inhale this time, start to draw in the present moment. And when you exhale, release any feelings, thoughts, experiences of the past and the future. On the last inhale here, breathe in light. On the exhale, Ground yourself, reconnecting back to the earth, feeling the support and the well-being of that connection. And then stand on your mat with your feet hip width distance and relax your shoulders back and down. Let's begin with Tadasana. Today's practice starts with this movement. On the inhale, lift the arms and lift the heels at the top, interlace your fingers, press the palms away, and stretch your spine. On the exhale, lower everything down simultaneously, the breath and the body moving together. We'll do that five more times with holding a little longer each time. Inhale, come up. Stretch, interlace your fingers, hold for one, two, and exhale, lower everything down. Inhale, as you lift up, lift the heels a little higher, interlace, lock and stretch and hold for one, two, three, exhale lower. Inhale again, interlace, stretch, hold for one, two, three, four, exhale lower. Inhale, hold, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, reach up as high as you can, lift your heels, interlace your fingers, lock your elbows, hold and stretch for six. And exhale, lower down. Relax. Relax your breath. Close your eyes for a moment and observe the sensations through the body, the effect on the breath, becoming more present. And then set the intention in the practice this morning. May I be at peace. May I be here. May I be present for changes as they arise in the here and the now. And then turn to your front of your mat and step your right foot back. Make sure that the distance is wide enough and your hips are squared forward. Release your arms by your side. Virabhadrasana variation. Inhale, bend the front knee, lift the arms up, interlace your fingers. Again, lean back to stretch into the arch. And on the exhale, lower the arms to shoulder height, palms down. Inhale, the arms out into the sides, stretch. Exhale, the arms forward. Inhale, reach the arms up again, interlace, lock, stretch, and lean back. And this time on the exhale, move into Pashvottanasana. Just for the first one, keep the knee soft. On the inhale, bend the knee a little bit, arms in line with the ears, come all the way back up, interlace your fingers, hold for one, two, and exhale, lower the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, the arms out to the sides, hold for one, two, exhale, arms forward. Inhale, reach up, interlace, lock, stretch, and hold for one, two, and exhale, fold over the front. Bend the knee a little for balance, arms in line with the ears, come all the way back up, interlace, hold, one, two, three, lower the arms to shoulder height. 
Inhale the arms out to the sides. Hold for one, two, three. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms up, interlace, lock and stretch. Hold for one, two, three. Exhale, lower. And this time, fold down. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale, bend the knee, come all the way back up. Interlace, lock and stretch. Hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, the arms up to the sides. Hold for four. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, lift the arms up, interlace again. Hold for four. Exhale, over the front leg. Stretch out a little more. Bend the knee, arms in line with the ears, come all the way up. Interlace your fingers, hold for five. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, the arms out to the sides, hold for five. Exhale, the arms forward. Inhale, the arms up, hold for five. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Stretch out a little bit more. Lengthen the front leg. Last one. Inhale, come all the way up. Interlace, hold for six. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms out to the sides, hold for six. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms up, hold for six. Exhale, fold over the front leg. And then inhale, come up again. This time just keep the arms parallel and lower the arms down, stretch out the front leg. Step back and rest for a moment. Just observe the sensations through the body, through the breath, let the breath rest for a moment. Feel how the hold after inhale through that warrior sequence has changed your experience. And then stepping the right foot forward, let's try the other side. Make sure there's enough space, square the hips forward, arms down. Inhale, bend the front knee, interlace your fingers, hold, and exhale the arms down. Inhale the arms out, exhale the arms forward again. Inhale, lift up, stretch, and exhale over the front leg. Again, the first couple of rounds, just taking it easy on the front leg. Bend the front knee a little, arms in line with the ears, come up, interlace, hold for two. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms out, hold for two. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, lift the arms up, hold for two. Exhale, over the front leg. Bending the knee, come up. Hold for three. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms out, hold for three. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms up, hold for three. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Next round. Inhale, come up, hold for four. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms out to the sides, hold for four. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, lift the arms up, hold for four. Exhale, fold over the front leg. Feel what you're feeling. Inhale, come all the way up. Interlace, lock and stretch, hold for five. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms out to the sides, hold for five. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, come all the way up, hold for five. Exhale, over the front leg. Last one. Inhale, come all the way up, hold for six. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms out, hold for six. Exhale, arms forward. Inhale, up, hold. Exhale over the front leg. 
Inhale, come all the way up, arms at shoulder height. Exhale, lower the arms down. Step back again. Close your eyes and just feel the sensations moving through the body and the effect of what you've done on the body, breath, and mind experience. Settle the breath back down again. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep the knees soft. Inhale, arms in line with the ears come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the arms down. And then step to the front of the mat. And let's now continue with Surya Namaskaram. So we'll do three rounds. Three rounds, which means six sun salutes all together. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step the right foot back and lunge. Exhale to downward dog. Now inhale right through to upward dog. Keep the chin locked, but open the chest. Exhale back to downward dog. Inhale, step the right foot into a lunge. Exhale the other foot forward. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale, arms in line with the ears come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, the left foot forward. Exhale, the other foot forward, relax. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. That's round one. On the inhale, roll the shoulders up. And on the exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Second round, we stay in downward dog for one breath. Inhale, the arms up. Really stretch back, open the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, downward dog. Really move through, wave the body to upward dog, and this time exhale to downward dog. Take a breath in, lift the hips up and back. On the exhale, contract the belly. Inhale, the right foot forward, open the chest. Exhale, the other foot forward, fold, relax your head and your neck. Feel the temperature rising. Inhale, arms in line with the ears, come up. Exhale, second time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, other foot forward. Relax the head and the neck. Inhale, come all the way up, lean back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Last round, inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, the shoulders come back and down. This time, downward dog for two breaths. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Two breaths here. Inhale, reach the hips up and back. Exhale, contract the belly. Inhale, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, contract the belly. Right foot steps forward, lunge. Exhale, other foot forward, fold. Inhale, arms in line with the ears come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Two breaths. Inhale, open the fingers. Exhale, roll the shoulders away. Inhale, press into the hands, lean back. Exhale, contract the belly. Left foot steps forward, lunge. Exhale, other foot forward and fold. Relax here. Inhale, arms in line with the ears, come up. And exhale, the hands to the heart. And then with your eyes closed, Again, let the breath come back. 
Feel dhyana. That's the circulating energy through the body. Feel how the energy is moving through you. On a physical level, physiological level, and yes, on an energy level as well. Lower your arms down, and this time step one foot out so that you're facing the side of your mat. Ensure that the sides of your feet are parallel to the sides of your mat and that the stance is wide enough to get a stretch on the inside of your legs. This is a triangle and a lateral stretch movement. We'll do three repeat and then we'll stay three breaths in each of these poses. On the inhale, bring the arms out. And this one here, I'd like for you to open the palms up to let the chest open. And then exhale and twist with the left hand down on the floor next to the right foot. Look up. Then look down and inhale, come back up and exhale to the other side. Look down, inhale, come up. And this is the lateral movement. Exhale, lean over and take the left arm over parallel to the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the other side, parallel. So you really feel the stretch through that right side. Inhale, come up again, open the chest, and this time, Prasarita Pada Uttanasana, fold down the middle. Drop your head and your neck and fold. Let's try that again two more times. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, up. Parshva, this is exhale, move into a lateral stretch, inhale, come up, exhale to the other side, inhale, come up, open the chest, lean back, and then exhale, fold down the middle. One more round of those, inhale, come up, exhale, twist, Trikonasana, Inhale, come up. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean over. Inhale, up. Exhale, the left hand down to the left leg. Really reach the right arm over. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, fold down the middle. Inhale, come up. Now we're going to stay in these poses for three breaths. Exhale, twist the left hand down to the right foot and lift the arm up. Look up. Inhale. Exhale. Now feel free to bend the right knee as much as you need to to feel the pelvis twist. Again, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Then look down, inhale, come up, exhale, other side, rest the hand on the floor, on the foot, or on the calf. Inhale here, again, bend the right knee, the left knee this time, as much as you need to, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist the pelvis. Inhale, exhale again. Look down, inhale, come up. Now laterally for three breaths, exhale, lean over to the right side. Take the left arm parallel to the floor. Inhale here, open the chest. Exhale, contract the belly. In and out. Inhale, feel the whole body breathe in. Exhale, contract the belly. Inhale, come back up through center. And the other side. Exhale over to the left side. Right arm parallel to the floor, palm down. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, contract the belly. 
and then come up. And we're going to go down the middle for three breaths. Exhale. Rest your fingers on the floor, shoulder width apart. Relax your head and your neck. Inhale. Bend your knees if you need to. Exhale. Feel the pelvis as well. Inhale here. Exhale here. Last one. In and out. Come all the way back up on the inhale. Lower the arms down on the exhale. Walk your feet together and relax. Close your eyes again. Observe what's arising in the body from that movement. On the inhale, we're going to move into a balance pose here. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hug the right knee towards your chest. Find your balance first. So on the inhale, focus on one spot. And on the exhale, really root your foot to the ground. Feel that standing leg support you. Now when you feel ready, the left hand comes to the left hip, and you're going to grab the big toe with the index finger, middle finger, and thumb. Now you can stay here and breathe in and out. If you feel to stretch that leg out, then do that here. Inhale, exhale, in, out. Again, inhale, I am peace, exhale, I am strong. And then release the hand to the hip and inhale, exhale, in, out. Last one, inhale, bend the knee, Exhale, lower, and relax your legs. Let's try the other side, okay? If you need to use the wall, come back and hold onto the wall with one hand. Find that standing leg that's going to support you and really become conscious of it. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hug now the left knee towards your chest. First round, find your balance. Inhale, lift the sternum. Exhale, engage the leg that's helping support you. Once you find it, bring the right hand to the right hip and bring the index finger, middle finger, and thumb to grab a hold of the big toe. Inhale here and exhale here. You can stay here or stretch the leg out. Inhale, exhale, in, out. Inhale, feel the strength, exhale, commit to standing here. And then bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, exhale, in, out. Feel the intensity as you inhale, exhale, and lower the leg back down. Just shake it out. Okay, let's do a counter pose that incorporates Utkatasana and Ardha Utkatasana, or, or um, full squat and half squat. Okay, this variation. You're going to stand facing, I'm going to stand facing so you can see me sideways. On the inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, I'm going to ask you to bring your arms out to the sides to support this movement. Exhale, lower into the squat. Interlace your fingers, arm in line with the ears, come up to half squat. Open the chest, and then on the exhale, fold forward. Arms in line with the ears, come up to standing. Exhale, lower the arms down. So that's the first one of six. And we're going to do five more with hold after. Um, inhale. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms out to the sides. Hold for one, two. Exhale, squat. If you can, you interlace at this point. Inhale, come halfway up. Hold one, two, and exhale, fold. Arms in line with the ears, come up to standing. Exhale, lower the arms down. Third one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms out into a T. Hold for one, two, three. Exhale, squat. 
Inhale, half squat. Hold, one, two, three, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, squat. Inhale, half squat, hold for four. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale, lift up. Each round gets stronger. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Hold for five. Exhale, fold and lean back. Inhale, come up to half squat, hold for five. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the one arms down. Last, but always the best. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Hold for six. Exhale, squat. Inhale, half squat. Hold for six. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring the arms back up. Lean back a little bit more. This time, squat all the way back down. And then sit down and lie down to rest. Take a moment here to rest your whole being. We're not completed, we're halfway through our practice. But let this time be a time of observation, of complete rest, and of being able to incorporate and absorb the effect of what you've done so far. Feel the head relax, the face relax, even the jaw unhinges. Feel the back of the neck, the shoulders relaxed, the arms, the hands, and the fingers supported by the earth. Feel the palms soft. The chest softens and the abdomen and belly relax. Feel the pelvis release. And feel the spaciousness in your lower back. The heaviness of the legs. The knees relaxed. The calves. The feet and the toes. Notice the upper back soft into the floor and the whole spine heavy. And then take a deep breath into your whole body and relax into the floor. Ensure that the back of your head is resting on the floor and that you're able to lengthen the back of your neck. And then rest the arms by your sides with your shoulders down and away from your ears. With your feet hip width distance, on the next inhale, take the arms over the head and the hips way up into Dvipadapitham or bridge pose. And then on the exhale, lower the hips down and hug the knees to the chest. Apanasana. Inhale into what we call an L position. Urdhva Prasutta Padasana, flex your feet. And then on the exhale, relax your feet and hug the knees to the chest. Here, Supta Bada Konasana, simultaneously interlace the fingers and lower the legs. Open the chest into the back arch. And exhale again, hug your knees into Apanasana. So that's the sequence, let's try that again. Hold as you lower your feet to the floor. Inhale the hips up and the arms overhead. Exhale, lower the hips, hug the knees to the chest. 
Inhale, lift the arms overhead. Lift the legs up a little bit wider now. Flex your feet. Relax your feet and exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Supta Baddha Konasana, inhale. Hug your knees, exhale. Let's try that sequence again. Hold as you lower your feet to the floor. Inhale, lift the hips and arms overhead. Exhale, hug the knees to your chest. Inhale into an L position, wider with the legs. Exhale, bring the legs together, hug the knees to the chest. Inhale into the back arch, lift the arms overhead, stretch. Exhale, hug the knees to the chest. And then relax, inhale the knees away. Exhale the knees towards you. Inhale the knees away. Exhale the knees towards you. Lean over to one side and then just turn around and lie down on your belly. Ensure that there's enough space. Your shoulders are down and away from your ears. And then from here, lower the arms down as well with the back of the hands on the floor so that the shoulders are completely relaxed. In this variation, we're gonna lift an alternate arm and leg up simultaneously and then lower them down. So on the inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg. Try not to arch the neck. Keep the neck long in line with the spine. And then exhale and rest down on the right cheek and lower down. Inhale, the left arm comes up, and the right leg lifts up, arm in line with the ear, and on the exhale, rest on your left cheek and lower the arm and the leg down. Good. That's one round. Do it again. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, lower on the right cheek. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, rest on your left cheek. Inhale, left arm, right leg. This is so good for us in the spine. Exhale on the right cheek. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale on the left cheek. Inhale. A little higher. Exhale, right cheek. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, lower. Rest on your forehead now. Slowly bend your knees and grab a hold of your ankles. If it's too far away, grab a hold of your feet. Okay? Then walk your knees together. We're going to do Dhanurasana, which is the bow pose, dynamically three times, and then we'll stay in the pose for three breaths. So when you're ready, on the inhale, come up with your knees and your chest. Hold. Exhale, lower. Keep holding on to your ankles. Rest your forehead. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now three breaths in the pose. Inhale, come up. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Lower your arms and your legs and rest. Feel how good it is to rest. And when we say the word surrender to the floor, how easy that is for us now. When we feel so tired and relaxed, the body and the mind can completely surrender. When the breath starts to return and there's more energy back, lie down on your back, just turn around, and let's prepare for the other back arch, which is the same one we did, except this one is called Urdhva Tanurasana. 
it is the bow pose flipped on the back. So make sure that your feet are again hip width distance and they're pointing forward. And this time, rest your palms on the floor under your shoulders, elbows pointing up. Try not to let them splay out to the side. Let them point up to the sky. Okay. Both arms are like that. Open the fingers wide. And when you're ready on the next inhale, start to lift your hips and your arms and come up. That's it. Inhale. Feel the freedom. Exhale. In. Out. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. Two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then start to lower down on the floor. Relax your head and your neck and relax. Just soften again into the floor. See how easy it is to relax once you've done that work. How the request of relaxation and surrender is not a difficult one for us at this point how we really can explore feeling supported by the earth underneath us. We're not gripping away from gravity. We're allowing ourselves to settle. And how important that quality is in life. Okay. Then start to hug your knees to your chest and we're going to do a counter pose here. In this one, we'll incorporate the L position to prepare us for shoulder steps. So, when you're ready on the inhale, take your arms overhead and your legs up and why not circle your ankles here. And then on the exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Do that again. In and out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, just relax, inhale, exhale, and the last one, inhale, Exhale. And then lower the feet to the floor. Stretch your legs out. Again, ensure that you have enough space for the back of the neck to do this. If you need to, pull your ponytail over to the side so that the back of the neck has nothing underneath it here. Rest your arms down by your side. So classically, the legs come together. And we'll inhale. Exhale and come up. Okay, once you're in full shoulder stand, if you'd like to go a little further, you can bring your legs back and then walk your elbows in so that when you come back up, you have a little more leverage. Okay, relax your legs. And then we're gonna breathe from the third eye center into the heart center. So from Agnya all the way down to Anahata Chakra and exhale from Anahata back to Agnya Chakra. Exhale, inhale, exhale, back to Agnya, inhale, third one, exhale back, inhale, exhale, in, out. Last one on the inhale, reach up, on the exhale, bend the right knee to the chest. Inhale the right knee back up. Exhale the left knee to the chest. Inhale the leg back up. Exhale both knees to the chest. Just like up in asana. Inhale the legs up. Now let's do one leg. Exhale, straight leg comes all the way down. Inhale back up. Exhale the left leg comes down. Inhale back up. If you feel ready, you can bend the knees or keep the legs straight. Exhale into halasana. Stretch your arms out. Now, if you wish, you can interlace your fingers or you can keep your palms down, whatever works. Inhale, exhale. In, out. 
in, out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. On the next inhale, lower the arms down and then slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. Try to keep your belly close to your thighs. Lower the hips and then stretch your legs and lower down to the floor and rest. Again, feel rest. Feel the quality of rest as it deepened. Feel the openness to what's above and feel a deep connection to what's underneath. Okay, and then when you feel ready, uh, assuming you're ready, you're going to come onto your belly and we're just going to do a counter pose here with your forehead down on the ground, arms by your side. Inhale, just gently lift up and exhale on one cheek. This is for the upper back and neck. Inhale, exhale. In, out. In, In, out, in, out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Bring your hands under your shoulders, curl the toes under, and then slowly make your way back into child's pose. From here, just rest your hips back, rest your forehead down, Relax your arms, settle your neck. Take a deep breath into the low back. And relax. Inhale, come forward to all fours. As we do this, ensure that the elbows are bent so the real arch is happening in the mid back. Keep the neck long in line with the rest of the spine. And exhale back, chanting, Om. Inhale, come forward. The next one we're going to chant Om Namaha. So come up on the inhale. Again, bending the elbows. Feel the upper back more than the lower back arch. Om Namaha. Inhale up. This time we're chanting Om Namo Namaha. Open the chest. Keep breathing in. Om Namo Namaha. Last one. Inhale forward. Om Namo Namo Namaha. Om Namo Namo Namaha. And then slowly make your way up into seated. And let's prepare for pranayama. So as we do that, get yourself a cushion if you need to. Sit down cross-legged or sit down in a chair if that's more available to you. That's really up to you. Now the body is no longer the concern here. It's more the, the, the more subtle tool of the breath that we're working with. So the body is just comfortable in order for the spine to be long. Relax your shoulders back and down. Now I'm going to give you a ratio of 1, 1, 1, 0, which means it's a hold after inhalation. And the count is going to be 12, 12, 12, 0 as our goal. If you find that's too high of a number for you, you can continue to do this practice with alternate nostril breathing, which will allow you to bring in that 12 uh, through one nostril is easier than doing it through, through ujjayi. So you choose which one you prefer. Closing your eyes, just settling the breath. 
feeling the body. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now inhale the goal pose. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hold, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hold, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Last one. Inhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hold, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Exhale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now take a long inhale and freely exhale. Do that again. Long inhale and freely exhale. Now freely inhale, freely exhale. Again, freely inhale, freely exhale. Let your breath return to a natural state as we sit here for a few moments of meditation. Keep your energy focused on your heart center. As you do that, feel the birth of the breath rising in the heart and dying in the heart center. All the while, feel a flame, eternally flame, flared and flame in the heart center, always lit, while the breath continues to birth and die. Feel the flame eternally lit behind it. The breath is born in the heart. The breath ends in the heart. Let that meditation become more and more instilled in the body, breath, mind experience. And we end with the Yoga Sutra. This Yoga Sutra comes from Chapter 1, 1.36. One of the great mysteries of life is life itself. And this light within the heart center reminds us of our unique experience and our eternal experience of light. Vishoka Vajotishmati is that the light, the eternal light within me, continues to shine while this birth and death of everything in nature continues to rise and fall. Rise and fall. We'll end with the sutra as you bring your hands to your heart now. We'll gesture the arms out to the universe and then we'll gesture our arms when we exhale back into the heart center and I'll chant the sutra as we do that. Inhale. Vishoka Exhale. Jyotishmati Vishokava Jyotishmati Vishokava Jyotishmati 
Let the eternal light in the heart continue to shine. Inhale the palms together, breathing into our unique experience of body, breath, mind. And then on the exhale, we'll bow down to the wholeness of our experience. 